It is our top story tonight. The latest roadblock in the Trooper Gate investigation has many crying foul. Yesterday, Attorney General Talis Kohlberg says that subpoena state employees don't have to testify, but that may go against a previous agreement to allow testimony. CBS 11's Corey Allen Young joins us live in the newsroom with the very latest tonight. Corey. That's right, Dave. In a letter to Legislative Council Chair Kim Elton, Attorney General Kohlberg asked for the subpoenas to be withdrawn and that those employees won't testify unless otherwise ordered by the Alaska state legislator via a vote. But Kohlberg's letter has some state legislators calling it inconsistent with a deal that was already agreed on. There was a deal struck between the administration, uh, the Department of Law, uh, Mr. Barnhill in particular, who specifically said, if you agree to our interpretation of law on a specific issue, then we will allow these witnesses to be deposed. What Senator Wolikowski is talking about is a September 9th letter from Senior Assistant Attorney General Michael Barnhill stating the Department of Law's wishes to see if the Legislative Council agrees with them regarding the State Personnel Act dealing with employee personnel files and state officials. It goes on to say if the Legislative Council agrees, the Department of Law will drop its objections and the depositions will proceed without subpoenas. Senator Elton fired back, saying despite the Department of Law's previous offer and repeated statements of cooperation, they are now not allowing state employees to cooperate. A gentleman's agreement at this point, and uh, it's not being honored by the Attorney General. For other lawmakers, the refusal to honor legislature subpoenas is bad public practice. Unfortunately, a long line of, of broken deals. We've had deals of cooperation. We've had agreements to cooperate. We've had agreements uh, to have witnesses uh, come and testify. It seems like we continue to try to bury reactive material instead of uh, letting it see the light of day, and I just think it's bad. Uh, Bad public practice and it poorly on the Attorney General's office. Our calls to Attorney General Korberg were not returned today. However, according to state statutes, subpoenas issued through the legislator or special committees are legally binding. Coming up at 6, I'll show you the statute and what the next step is in the investigation of Governor Palin. Reporting live from the newsroom, Corey Allen Young, CBS 11 News.